Hey, good morning, Keller Williams. Hey, this is a recording just because uh, I didn't want to interrupt everyone's day with a live stream. I want us to take a couple looks at some updates that have rolled out. Uh, we talked about it for a few seconds in some of our team meetings. Um, the two big updates we want to talk about is commission resubmission and uh, checklist updates. So we're going to quickly go through those. I'm going to make my screen bigger because uh, you don't need to see my face. Um, let's get rid of that banner. Okay, so inside of command, when you create an opportunity, um, there will be some new kind of looks in the way things are doing. And they've done a good job of putting some notifications in here so you can kind of see what's going on. But I want to go through both the new checklists and, uh, and the new commissions. So I'm going to create a new opportunity and we're going to put it as a buyer. Actually, not going to do a listing. Make sure it's not in my team so I don't make my admin mad. And we're going to pull up our favorite client. Awesome. And we're going to create this opportunity. Oh. Okay. So inside of our opportunity now, um, the first thing we're going to look at is documents. So inside of documents, there is going to be some filters you can now apply. But the first thing we're going to have to do now is pick a checklist type. And some of you may have already seen this, um, but this is fully rolled out and all of the market centers are now building those separate checklists. So um, some of you may have seen that some of you may not have. You can now pick between residential, commercial, land, whatever checklist your market center wants to make, they can create it. And uh, I know specifically for Midland, we're working on creating some residential, commercial, and land opportunities. Every market center might have something different. If there's something you'd like to see, let us know. So if we're doing residential, you'd click residential, and this is very standard, you're used to seeing this. But if it's commercial and we click commercial, you're now gonna have a different checklist to follow along with and it's going to have all of the pieces specific to a commercial transaction that we're going to need now uh, that'll change through under contract and close now we're still building out our checklist here but i wanted to just kind of talk through that's how it works the other thing is the new filters so we can now go and when you upload something or if it's approved or rejected or replaced you can now filter by just that type so right now everything's not uploaded um, but if I had anything approved, I could go by just approved. If I had something rejected, I could filter by just rejected, which this is actually really nice because it's going to make it real fast and easy to find what we're missing or, or what we need to fix. So I'm really excited about those filters um, coming through there um, on that. Uh, one thing I'm going to talk about for a second, uh, I, this has been around for a while, but if you don't know, if for some reason a contract terminates, which is what we're gonna be talking about with commissions, so I wanna talk about it here on documents as well. If the contract terminates, to you don't need to delete the whole opportunity. All you need to do is come in here and add a new version, and this creates a clean checklist that you can work with, and you save your old, your old stuff. Now, from a compliance standpoint and from a broker standpoint, that's great because then if we need to go back to that old stuff, if something comes up, a question's asked, a client asks for paperwork, which we're legally required to give them, all we have to do is go back to list one and pull that paperwork. But we can go ahead and move on to the next transaction without creating a whole new opportunity. And that's been around for a while, so most of you all know that. But I wanted to point it out because we're going to talk about terminated transactions now with offers and commission. The first thing you're going to notice is that it is now one tab. So there's no offers, then commission. It's all right here. So let's take a look at what this looks like now. Not a lot has changed. Uh, the main thing now is it's all in one place and we can cancel it if for some reason uh, an appraisal comes in low, um, re last minute negotiation, something comes up, repairs. I get it, life happens. These transactions have situations that come up later in the transaction. So if we had an offer on this one, we just very quickly come in, we can do uh, an initial offer, accepted offer, whatever you want to call it. We're going to say the offer date is that, does not affect. So let's get all of our information in here. Uh, this is not changing a whole lot. So we're going to say this is 150,000. 
$150,000 property with 15,000 cash. Artist one, option fee 250. Combination is tip. Seller will contribute 5,000. To, oh, nope, 500 to residential, 5,000. Awesome. Agent analysis, we can put our pros and cons. And save. Now this is where things start to change. First off, um, if this is the only offer we have and we're gonna accept it, great. If this is a multiple offer situation, you might wanna go ahead and add in multiple offers. And if I add another one, I can then generate an offer URL to send to my client so it compares out those offers. Um, but we're gonna act like this is our one offer. This is great, we wanna accept it, perfect. We're gonna hit the accept button. And now you're gonna see this option to manage commission. We're gonna click the manage commission and this is gonna feel very, very familiar. I mean, there's nothing crazy here. So uh, first thing is it's gonna want us to select a listing. So let's select from listings. Um, let's pull up. Uh, one of ours. Sorry, James. So we have to have a listing attached. It needs a contract date, absolutely. So we can hit our edit general, give it a contract date, and we can say it's the first. Awesome, and we're gonna close on 31st, hit save changes. And then we have our, uh, our standard commission. This is nothing difficult. We can hit submit. Uh, we can donate if you want. We're gonna hit apply. Okay. So now we're going to go through and go about our days and we get 20 days in and we get hit with an appraisal. Well, let's, let's see what that looks like from the opportunity section. So we get hit with an appraisal. Let's put it in the right spot. So we're under contract and we're at an appraisal. Comes in low, $10,000 low. All right, well, what are we gonna do? Well, normally, up until this point, we would have to either get it manually adjusted, do a green sheet, or uh, scrap the entire opportunity and come back to it. We don't have to do that anymore. So inside of the opportunity, we'll come over to Offers and Commission, and we'll say View Commission and Request Termination. So by terminating this commission, it will be permanently removed. Are you sure you wanna terminate it? You're gonna say yes. Awesome, and that should release to create another offer. So we will hit add new offer. We'll create that offer. Very similar. The difference is now we're gonna come in at 140,000, so they're gonna put 14,000 down because they're putting 10%, and we're gonna do 126. Just to adjust to that new appraisal price, um, you can change your options and earnest and all that stuff, and you're gonna hit age analysis and save. Now, when you come in, we're gonna accept this offer, and then you'll hit manage commission. And we'll create a new commission. So we'll hit edit general information, give it a contract date, save changes, and we have a new commission. So we went from $150,000 offer down to $140,000 because of a bad appraisal. We'll hit submit. Awesome, and you're done. Now, you will get a notification when this is, uh, when this is released and when this one is accepted. Uh, so as soon as James goes in and releases and accepts those, um, you'll be good to go. 
uh, J, excuse me, any NCA uh, goes in and, and releases and accept those, you'll get some notifications, but this is, this is the way to handle commissions now. And so the beautiful part about this is it actually will, um, it's actually going to make it easier as an agent because I can go ahead and submit those commissions up front. Up until this point, I would tell most of our agents to hold off and not submit the commission until about a week beforehand or after the appraisal. So you didn't have to resubmit and go through all those headaches. Well, now I'm telling you, we fixed this issue, submit the commission up front, have it done so you're not waiting around. Hopefully, uh, after about a month of this, this will help our MCAs be, uh, be able to be uh, easier and smoother transactions. And so I'm excited about this. Uh, I'm also excited about the checklist because agents have been asking forever for us to not have everything locked into one checklist. So this should make things a little bit easier, especially for those new agents who just don't know which forms they need. So um, those are some small updates and some big updates. Uh, I'm excited about what all KWRI is working on. If you have any questions on this, uh, go ahead and put them in the comments below, or uh, you can shoot me an email, tim.lester at kw.com, and we can figure it out from there. But uh, I definitely want to help you all out. But this is super simple. It works very well. I have seen no bugs, no issues. So I think, uh, I think we're going to be happy with this. So any questions, put them below. And y'all have a fantastic rest of the week.